much the stuff goes on. So I just want to remember. Yeah, lights off for good. Turn them all off. That'll be neat. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, church together every Sunday. Our parents were super strict and, and proud to go to church. So you were a Methodist by then. <laughs> and what was your school's value? Your philosophy? <laughs> well, when we ended up going to college together, it, it ended up being every man is his own, his brother's keeper. Sorry about that. I forget I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then right after that, I moved to New York and married such a beautiful woman with such a sad last name. <laughs> she, 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 was amazing. she was amazing, but when, when she came around and introduced herself, Ethel Gross, it's kind of oh kind of love, right? A bit. Yeah, him and his uh, three kids ended up, right when he started work at 22, uh, he ended up working at um, uh, the Lower East Side. At the Crescidora Settlement. But there were some other things about him that were kind of weird. Like oh, that's he was true. rejected from the drop. Why? Because he had a bad eye. He used to roll around, uh, yeah, roll around town and say, yeah, I, I wish I had that excuse. I, I could have skipped the, the war. And at the time, he was considered to wield a lot of diplomatic power, more than even the State Department at the time. Yeah, I guess later on, Stalin favored him favorably. He used to uh, uh, stop important meetings and, and directly run up to him and, and, and greet him. And then Churchill named him Lord of the Root of the Matter, which meant he was just basically very blunt and straightforward, and people liked him for that. Yeah, ended up being great friends with Eleanor Roosevelt and FDR when, when he was in office under the administration. And he was known as the architect of the New Deal. Yeah, him and his, uh, him and his boys are uh, alumni from Brittle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So then he worked at the Christmas Store Settlement House in the Lower East Side. And then after that, what was he doing with the AICP? He ended up being uh, uh, working for the New York Association, right? And then uh, helping the condition of the poor. So he was 23 at this time. Man, he was believe it? And then he organized, two years later, at 25, he organized with his fellow colleague, William Matthews of the AICP, and $5,000 at the time, which, what, what did that an mean? estimation, how do we estimate? $113,636.36. <laughs> 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 did I carry the, okay. <laughs> Interesting fellow, brains, brains he was. Brain trust, and it was called the brain trust, because they were just a close panel of advisors, of intelligent people. I really do believe that their foundation and, and the values that they came through in college, you know, my, my, my school, uh, really impacted the way they were thinking then. 
especially him. I mean, he continued on in 1915 to the secretary in the Bureau of Child Welfare in New York, which gave pensions to mothers of dependent children, director of civilian relief, then he went to New Orleans. Then after that, in 21, he went to Atlanta to manage the Red Cross. And in 22, where does he return? New York. New York. You must love that place. He really, his, his reputation really took off when he was heading that tuberculosis association, right? Really, really important. Uh, I guess FDR, when he was governor, really looked at him and he knew his reputation and took him under his wing right when he got in there, right? Mm -hmm. He chose him to brand Terra. It's the and he was the executive director of Temporary Emergency Relief Administration. He also helped charter one of the first, uh, it's called the Association of Social Workers, the AASW, which later on became the NASF, National as well as other smaller uh, social work organizations that combined to become the NASW, and was elected as president at the same time. The man was really busy. So after the president, after he became president of Terra under Governor Roosevelt, Yeah, taking off in the brain trust. And I guess he, uh, they created under the New Deal uh, a series of uh, economic programs that uh, that were enacted in response to the Great Depression, right? Yep, like the FEIC. Yeah, I guess they focused on the three R's, relief, recovery, and reform. Try to try to stop uh, the mess that they were under at that time, huh? He was also doing FARA, Federal Emergency Relief Administration, Civil Works Administration, and the Works Progress Administration. FARA, that was giving money to states, right? Yeah, I remember their uh, they, their motto was to, to put people at work, restore their, their will and their dignity instead of giving them free handouts. And the CWA was direct jobs from the government, mostly construction. Construction? Construction wow. and bridges? What's the matter with you? I don't know. What's wrong with your voice? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, we're uh, to the... And the WPA was just an extension of just getting more unemployed jobs. This guy was world diverse, always took care of uh, the, even then, the Depression uh, era youth, you know. Uh, yes, that's right, the yeah. National Youth Administration. Yeah, that's, that's the right. That's and then right. there was this Federal One program to help artists and writers, you know. I guess they need to eat too, so. In <laughs> <laughs> oh, 34, he became the executive group member on the President's Committee, which basically he was the President's cabinet for economic welfare recommendations. Yeah, he ended up actually laying the groundwork for the Social Security Act of uh, 1935. Correct. Yeah. Then he became the U.S. Secretary of Commerce in 38. In 40, he resigned. Stomach yeah. cancer. He was, he was having it bad. There he goes with those excuses again. <laughs> 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 but that's cool. You know what? Truman really recognized him because he ended up giving him a, um, what was this? It was a, a Distinguished Service Medal. Highest medal civilian can get. And the U.S. wasn't done with him after he resigned because he was ill. They brought him right back a year later to justify the Lend-Lease program. This That's is right. aid sent to different countries um, to help after, during World War II. And wasn't it 50 billion in total aid? Yeah, 50 billion sent to like China and what was Saddam's country again? Soviet Union? <laughs> 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 conference was um, helped and done by Harry Hopkins. It was done in Potsdam, Germany with Stalin, Churchill, Attlee, the current prime minister, and Truman. Truman. But they were all there and he helped organize it, do it, and everything. Yeah. Great fellow. Any, Any questions? Any, questions? Uh, Any comments? Great job. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. Great job. Great job. Who is? Probably. <laughs> complications. They said complications because of stomach cancer, so they're not directly. Uh -huh.